So I should preface this video by saying that this video is being uploaded alongside another video where I let an AI, Firecut, completely edit a video however it wanted to. I tried the plugin a couple of months prior and I wasn't too keen on it. I went back into it and it actually did a pretty good job. So if you haven't already gone and watched the previous video, do it for a little bit of context. Uh, but if you're just here for a tutorial, maybe you're thinking about buying the plugin. Let's get into it. Okay, so very simply, this is the full, raw, unedited video that I let the AI break down. When you open up Firecut, you're presented with a bunch of options. So we've got remove silences, remove filler words, add zooms, add chapters, remove repetition, multi-track captions, B-roll. I'll go through each of these individually. There'll be chapters down below where you can go ahead and skip ahead through different things if you're interested in a particular element. And I feel like I should say before we do start editing that this is not made to completely edit a YouTube video right this is made for people who shoot really long podcasts and things like that and they just want to be able to trim out the silences figure out where all the filler words are maybe add in some captions but it's not made to 100 percent do an editor's job for you not yet i think they're getting closer but I think there's reasons why it may not work. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but for now, let's go ahead and we're going to remove the silences on this track. This little bit here lets you have a loose cut, so you'll have a longer space between silences and the next clip. Or you can keep it really tight so that all the clips are trimmed really close together like this so that you have a bunch of different jump cuts. I went one from the furthest and all we're going to do is select audio track one because that's the only one that has audio on it. Doing this with music or even a podcast where you have two different layers of people talking, that could be really useful. We're going to go full sequence and then we have a cutting algorithm and I think some of these features are new, some of them are not. But we're going to go ahead and select the original just for an example and there is an advanced option that lets you you analyze the audio, pick individual segments, but I'm going to keep it nice and simple for now as if I just wanted to throw in a piece of footage and let this thing do everything for me. What surprised me with this is that it's actually incredibly quick. Look at that. Look at it go. How cool is this? Imagine th if this was just for podcasts, this would be perfect. Like it would just trim out all of the silences, all of the awkward bits and do everything for you. For a typical video like this, you need a little bit more intricacy, you need more engaging features, but for the most part, it does what it needs to do. Okay, so cut 48 silences, 108 seconds worth of nothingness. Or maybe it took 108 seconds. I don't know how that works. So you get the gist of it. It does a pretty good job. And I think if we were just working from here, it's a great starting point. That would have saved me like 20, 30 minutes worth of cutting and trimming. Okay, so now let's go ahead and remove filler Words. These are going to be your ums and your uhs and things like that. Once again, we're only selecting audio one. We're going to go full sequence and analyze audio. Again, this should be super quick. I'll let you know how long it takes. All right. So that took, I would say, between 70 and 80 seconds. It's better than me doing it. Put it that way. <laughs> okay. So what it gives you an option to do now is if you click anywhere around here, it'll take you to the actual word as you say it. It's very similar to the standard transcription for Premiere Pro, but uh, transcribing actually seems to work quicker and better with fire cut so if we left click we go to the word and if we right click we mark for removal we can toggle that on and off whether we want it or whether we don't now we can either add markers or we can just go ahead and cut them so let's do that voila uh, I, I think you did a pretty good job i haven't listened to the whole video but well done, Firecut. Okay, so there we go. We are now under six minutes worth of footage. How long was the original one, if we compare it? Just through silences and filler words, we've already removed a minute to a minute and a half's worth of footage. Not too bad. The next one we're going to try is add zooms. And this one I felt like was good in some elements. It still can't recognize like my camera's up here now. It just constantly zooms into a section of the screen uh, that you have to select. But there's no way of changing it for like different positions. There's no face tracking. Uh, but that's something I think would work really well. For my original video, I think I did pretty high frequency, but for this one, I'm actually going to keep it in the middle just to see if it does any better. And you can change the scale so we can see how far it's going to zoom in. We'll keep that at around about 120, and then you can move this overlay to zoom into different sections. So right now, we would want to zoom into the top right hand corner. There's an option to animate it, so rather than just popping in, you can actually add a nice little thing. And there's curves, which is the coolest feature the fact that you can ramp things up. Let's go with something like that, and I'm actually going to make it around about 0. 0.7. Seven. Full sequence yet again and language British. 
It's going to go ahead and analyze the audio, transcribe things again, I imagine, try and work out where to determine. Yeah, they go, determine emphasis words, and it's going to choose where to add those zooms. And it does it in chunks. You can see the in and out sections right here move as it analyzes different chunks. I don't know why it does that. What's kind of cool, and I didn't realize this the first time I did it, but there's actually adjustment layers right here that do the zoom in and out. I thought it was actually applied to the clip, like this little guy right here, but it's not. The actual animations and everything, it works really well. It just needs to be able to figure out where your face is. And I think that would be like a really good feature. The issue that I made when I originally edited this, I think I put the zooms too frequently. So it felt really jarring, but I think that's more of a mistake on my part, trying to understand the, the plugin than the actual plugin itself. So we're gonna go ahead and remove repetition advanced view transcript and customize or auto detect with default settings. I'm going to go with basic for now, and then maybe we'll do like another run with the advanced, but let's see how this works out. Transcribing yet again. I don't know why it has to constantly transcribe. Why can't it just keep one transcription of what's going on and update it <laughs> as changes are made? Maybe that's just a misunderstanding on my part, but I don't see that being an issue. Like Premiere makes a transcription, any changes made to the video affect that transcription. Okay, so it has identified four potential repetitions let's see if it can find this one right here again we have options where we can go and select different points oh i don't think it found it i don't think it found the first one it uh, doesn't look like it not a big deal that's okay we can go back and we can do the advanced option and see if that works a little bit better we can actually change the phrase size the tolerance and the search radius which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and do preview and choose best takes and then this is what it's going to come up with we've got a lot more options here i'm curious if it's going to find the first one that we mentioned it still didn't catch that big one but either way, I'm going to go through and I'm going to select which ones I am going to keep and which ones I'm not. Hopefully, I'll be able to trim a little bit more time out of this. Okay, cool. So I removed all of them. I think that found about five that I wanted to get rid of. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do B-roll. And this is this is another one that I found weird. Like it finds stock footage, it adds stock footage. Could be really useful for people who love making AI videos and things like that. But for me personally, I don't really use B-roll. And if I do, I don't think it can be found on sites like Pexels. Let's do low frequency see every 60 seconds or so and we can actually choose the source which is pretty cool we'll go with the default which is pexels we can select the save location for the b-roll which is pretty cool and voila let's see what it does all righty so if we scroll up we can see that it's added the the video tracks over here so b-roll number one adds a very long bit of b-roll i did say i wanted short context and it's done a nearly 20 second clip of somebody at a computer so we'll delete that what about this guy right here okay that's not too bad. I like that one. Same clip again. Not too keen on that one. I don't think it should be using multiple of the same clip. Oh, there's another repetition at Mr. Same clip again. That's it's really weird. It's going to be the same one. <laughs> okay, so it's done the same the same clip three times. Bear in mind, this is in beta, right? Um, but I, I think for now, uh, we'll, we'll get rid of all the B-roll and, <laughs> and move on from that one. Some people may find this very useful, being able to implement B-roll like that. But like I say, for me personally, uh, I like um, being able to do it myself. Okay, so one other thing I did want to mention, there was an option to add J-cuts. I don't know if he's removed it or what, but I can't find it under any of these. It's a cool feature to have though. So finally, we're going to be adding some chapters. This one's pretty simple. Just let it transcribe yet again, and then it will go ahead and bing, 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 bing. All right, here we go. We're all done. So, so it's given me nine different chapters, which is pretty cool. Pricing, starter versus pro, features of the pro version. I would like the ability to be able to like take this and go straight to that location, which I don't think it has. 15 seconds in, we're talking about fire cut. Cool. That one worked pretty well. 52 seconds is the next one. Yep, that's pretty contextual. And this one right here, I feel like we could probably get rid of that because it still comes under the benefits. Nailed all of those ones. So what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and add markers naturally. So pop all of those in there. Now we have our chapters. And what we can also do, which I think is a really, really cool feature, we can actually copy these. And if we go ahead and open Notepad, like so, if we paste it, that can go straight into our YouTube video, which that is so useful. Okay, and then finally we have captions. This one is pretty straightforward. It works similar to CapCut's captions where you can go in at a style. And once again, I think this is actually better and faster than Premiere Pro's built-in stuff. But if we go to captions, we can either transcribe the entire sequence and add captions to the entire thing. For me personally, I like adding captions to just the intro and the outro. So I'm actually going to go in and out right here in the intro and select in and out points, transcribe, 
let it do its thing. And dude, look how quick that was. I know it's just a small little segment, but that's so good. Okay, so stylized, we can move this around. We can choose where they're going to go. Another thing I'm a little bit weird about, like I, I want to be able to snap this to different locations. There is an option to reset it. So we can just have it on the lower thirds, but um, yeah, being able to snap it would be cool. And then we can select different styles, which is really, really nice. We can go Homozy, Ali Abdul, Smosh, Mr. Beast, little pop-up thing like that. Fire cuts default, which is pretty sweet. Nice. So we've got a couple of different sections and I think we can actually add our own presets. That's useful. And then you can dive in and customize absolutely everything from the font, the size, the outline, the box, the shadow, animation. And then for the rendering algorithm, we'll keep that to original and let it do its thing. Uh, how long is that going to take, do you think? Let's count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. Oh, what's that? Eight, seven, eight seconds in total. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, today I'm trying something out there. All right, cool. So you've got a couple of little things that you're going to want to change. But overall, I think it did a really, really good job. Honestly, I'm really, really impressed at how well all of this is coming together. If you're just making simple vlogs or sit down talking head videos and you don't want to upload it completely raw, or you want to have a little bit of like cutting out the silences and the fillers and you want to save as much time as possible. All I would need to do now is just go in and delete the, the weird little double cut cuts like this which shouldn't really be here and just make sure they did a good enough job but for the most part i think honestly this is really really cool and i'm very excited to see where five cut goes in the future the only concern i have is that adobe is actually giving some good competition because not only does adobe have their automatic transcription and things like that but in the latest version of premiere pro which i'm not using because every time i seem to update premiere it breaks on me you can actually get a lot of these features like the filler word detection inside of premiere pro which obviously you're going to be paying a subscription for naturally it kind of negates the point of paying for firecut firecut seems to work better and it gets all these features quicker than premiere but premiere is catching up man and i think that the developer Developer for Firecard has definitely got his hands full if he's going to try and keep up and consistently kind of fight with Adobe to be able to get these features out quicker. One little tease as well, which I think is, is the biggest selling point to me. The developer has said that he's working on a way of converting normal videos like this into shorts. And I feel like there are options out there already, but having something like that in Firecard, that could be a game changer. I don't know when it's coming. I have no idea when he's going to implement it, but that's big time. So get familiar with the software, get the trial, pay for a membership. Remember to use the code HERO or the link in the description and get some practice in before that comes out because if you're serious about content creation you know that short form is everything right now for, for whatever reason and then it's definitely worth jumping on. I love your faces. Thank you so much for watching today's video. You're amazing and beautiful and I'll catch you in the next one.